Ooh, we're live on YouTube. Beautiful. All right. Gonna get locked in, loaded. For our Instagram. Beautiful. All righty. Kettlebell Kings, Docs Fitness, a little collaboration here. We're going to get things rocking and rolling. Haven't been on live in a little while. So when you guys pop on, as always, drop in where you guys are coming from. And um, let's see, what else can you say? Um, we talked about food in the past. I know that. Um, any questions that you guys might have? So today's workout is going to be from, it's going to be kettlebell or two kettlebells. Do a little double kettlebell work. Bonjour from France. Take your shirt off. Uh, <laughs> that's hysterical. Uh, unreal. All right. Let's get things going. Just pop in. Any questions that you might got? Which weight kettlebell are you going to use? I'm using the – so I'm going to be using two 20K, so 20 kilogram or 44 pounders from Kettlebell Kings, obviously. Uh, when it comes to double kettlebell work, okay, you don't want to go overboard. You don't want to go too heavy, especially with a timed workout like today's. It's like it's going to be a comp, like a combination of a complex and an EMOM. So for me, I like to go a little bit on the like you want to grab two lighter bells. So for this one, I had the two 20Ks, which honestly, even for me is, you know, like that's I, my my ideal kettlebell garden or kettlebell set would be two 20Ks, uh, a 24K, and um, and a 32. I mean, that's a that's a that's a pretty solid set in itself. So, but yeah, just keep popping on and uh, drop in where you guys are coming from and um, get get things rocking and rolling soon. <clears throat> so yesterday, and on uh, my account, I uh, posted uh, just um, what's it called a uh, a little uh, questionnaire of just to kind of see like if anybody had any questions um, that we could talk about that any, an, anything that I could answer into uh, in today's live. Um, one of them was breathing, when to breathe with a lot of the movements. Um, another one was just basically like, where do I work out of? Like, what is this place? Um, <laughs> so I'll dive into the breathing once we get things going a little bit. Um, but um, just a quick little, recap of essentially where I'm working out of, but, uh, it's a boathouse. So, um, so this boathouse in itself was actually, uh, it's actually the upstairs. So if anybody's familiar with cruise shells, um, that's what's going on downstairs. It's, and we're right on the bay, got a nice little view. It's, it's pretty nice, but the boathouse is named after my grandfather, uh, who went by his dock. Hence, that's why I ended up naming Doc's Fitness, Doc's Fitness. So it was a tip of the cap to my grandfather. Um, and he was the actual doctor. So when people message me asking for advice about, you know, different ailments in their body, it's like, I'm not a doctor. So just keep that in mind. I just like swinging kettlebells. So we'll give it another second. Give it another minute. Hello. Hello. Beauty. All right. Nice. Nice. Just a little quick kill recap. Oh, my goodness. Unreal. The shirtless thing. All right. Um, all right. So what you guys are going to need today is two kettlebells. Okay. Two lighter bells. It's going to be a 15 minute EMOM. All right. Um, and I love the double kettlebell work because you get the most bang for your buck with that, uh, with that, uh, with doubling it up a little bit, cranking it up a hair. All right. Um, all right. Good, good. All right. So <coughs> you're going to need two bells to get things rolling. A little under the weather here, so I got to bear with me with the old uh, sinuses, a lot of breathing, going to get things rolling. So, um, okay, so before we get into it, let's do a little warm up. If you have one of those bells with you, okay, we're going to utilize that bell just as a little warm up, all right? So, first things first, just to get things rocking and rolling, we're going to stand over that bell, we're going to start off with some deads, okay? So having those feet just outside of shoulder width, toes pointed out in alignment with our knees. Pull those hips back, rip that bell in half, and standing tall. Again, those hips getting pulled back. I'm just going to go for four, three, 
two, one. Good. Guide that bell down. You're going to press that right hand down and reach up to the left. Circle the wrists. Big back strokes here. Open up that lower back. Good. Switching hands, left hand down, reach up to the right. Circle the wrists. Big back strokes. Beauty. All right. Bring that bell just out in front. And you can just put it out to the side right here. We're going to come back to the bell in a second. Now we're just going to go both hands down. And I'll go here, give you a little profile. We're going to go downward dog, pedal out those heels. Drive the chest back towards the quads. You know, and then bring it down and drop in those hips. I'm just going to go back and forth there for a second. Going hips up. Dropping the hips on down. Good. Hips up. Dropping them on down. Good. Come to a nice high plank. So whenever we're in a swing, we want to picture ourselves in a high plank position. We're going to go shoulder taps. Tapping that opposite shoulder, opposite hand. Good, good, good. For three, two, one. From here, we're going to go opposite knee, opposite elbow. Nice and controlled. Try to rotate those hips. Get that knee all the way up into that tricep. Beauty. Come back to that high plank. From here, we're going to go three push-ups. Elbows in tight. Two, one. Hips back on up. Walk those feet towards those hands. Rolling it back all, all the way on up and in. Good. From here, we're going to just stand nice and tall. Step that right foot out. Dive that heel down. Scoop it on up. Get those hamstrings going. Beauty. Now doing the same thing, but press those toes down into the ground. Nice, nice. Good. From here, standing nice and tall, nice and loose. We're just going to go pogos. Pop it on up. Stand on the balls of your feet. Anybody else wear flannels while they work out? No? It's that time of year. Good. Rotate the hips. Get the arms going. Good. From here, just go one foot. Beauty. Forward and back. Try to get those arms going a little bit. Good. Opposite side. Switch the feet. Good. Small skaters. Waking up those muscles in the lower feet. The feet. Open it up a little bit. Your arms going. All right, step here. Going to come back to the bell real quick. From here, we're going to just mix in some swings and some squats, okay? Real low rep. Focus on your breathing, okay? And like I said, I'll talk a little bit more about breathing as we get things rolling, okay? Hips get pulled back. We're going to start off, we're just going to go five swings. Then you're going to bring that bell on up, and we're going to go five squats. So hug that bell back. Stand tall. Three. Four, five, bring that bell on up. Lock those elbows in for five. Four, three, two, one. Got that bell down. <sighs> Beauty. All right, so this has been a long week for me, not going to lie. So <clears throat> I'm located down in South Jersey, so everybody, if you're typically – if you're living in South Jersey, you're typically, when it comes to sports, you're a Philadelphia sports fan. So I actually just was up uh, in Philly this past week, and uh, I was very fortunate enough to have gone to all three of the World Series games. <sighs> kind of crazy, but um, that's one of the perks of uh, being a washed-up baseball player. So <laughs> one of my good buddies – Snit with it, Troy Snicker, big shout out. Um, uh, he, uh, he's a coach for the Astros, so he was able to um, hook us up with a pretty cool, uh, you know, get us uh, some tickets to come in and support him. Even though I'm a Phillies fan, you know, I think we still got it. So if you guys happen to, you know, follow any of these sports, who do we got? Are the Astros going to be taking it home tonight, or do the Phillies still have a chance? <laughs> 
I don't know. We'll see. Um, so, but um, anywho, all right. So it was a long, long week, long couple of days. But um, anyway, so today's workout. And after I post this, you're going to have all the details in, in the uh, caption and uh, you'll be able to uh, do this workout whenever you want. All right. So how it's going to go, it's going to be an Imam complex style. The first go, it's going to be four, first minute rather. So it's going to go four double swings, four double cleans, four rack squats. Okay. Then you're going to rest the remainder of that minute. All right. And then the second minute, you're going to go eight gorilla rows. Okay. Uh, eight kettlebell push ups. Uh, ba, ba, ba. And then you're going to rest the remainder of the minute. Eight farmer deads, eight reverse lunges, farmer reverse lunges, and rest of the remainder of the minute. So, <clears throat> all right, quick breakdown. I know I'm talking way too much because we're going to get this thing going. All right. So double swings, okay? Obviously, you want to have a wider stance because you're going to have more, you got more bells to be able to, you need to create more space to get those bells nice and fluid going back between your legs, okay? So wider stance, toes slightly out, hips get pulled back, and that goes for the swings and the cleans, okay? And when it comes to breathing, good rule of thumb, think about breathing with the hips, okay? Exhale with the hips, especially any kind of ballistic movement, Okay, if you're able to do two, two quick inhalations on the way down and then exhale with those hips. I'm a big proponent of nasal breathing, but I know a lot of people are very big into the, okay, like the, I don't know how you would even spell that, like T-S-S, like A-H, like T. But that just allows you to create more tension right at the top. But again, I feel as if that you could do the same thing when it comes to, with the nose. So. Um, if you see me blowing snot everywhere, don't worry, I'll clean it up after. All right. So anyway, first minute is going to be four double swings, four double cleans, four rack squats. I'm just going to go through one rep of each. Okay. So it's swing, four cleans. Okay. Then whatever on that rack position, no broken wrists, elbows in nice and tight, squatting it out. Same idea with the squats. You can do a deep inhale. Pull that breath in, exhale those hips at the top. With our gorilla rows, okay? Stand over those bells. Okay, you almost want to turn this into a lower body movement too by sitting back and down, rip the ground in half, drive those knees out, okay? Push and pull, okay? You're pushing down as you're pulling on up, okay? Then with KB push ups, making sure that you feel nice and stable. Get nice, good depth, doing full push-ups. Now, as a variation to that, you can just go hands on the ground, okay? If you got smaller bells, you do not want to be doing that, okay, obviously. And then for farmer deads or suitcase deads, turn those lats on, stand tall, hips get pulled back, each go, okay? You'll have a more narrow stance with these. And then farmer reverse lunges, okay? Making sure that knee does not cave in. Okay, stepping back and forth here. And that's going to be a total of eight. Oh, all right, I'm tired already. Jeez, unreal. All right, so wish we could play music, you know. Hopefully you guys are playing music. With the whole copyright thing, you can't really get the, get the tunes rocking too much. But all right, how many people we got on? We got 34. Wow. But this account, you know, we got like, what, 400,000? I'll take it. 34 is going to get after it. Let's go, baby. All right. Any questions? Any final questions? Make sure you got a towel, some water. Nobody dropping in to see if, uh, you know, who's, who's going to win the World Series? Phillies? I still got hope for the Phils. Mm -hmm. No go. Somebody asked about the flannel, I think. Flannels from Roan. Compliments to my boy Cam, Killer Cam. Nice and stretchy. It'll, be, it'll probably be taken off in a second. All right. Up to 40 spot. Let's go, baby. All right. Deep inhales. Think about exhaling those hips through. When hips come through, that's when you are, ba, ba, ba. can you say one, two, three, vive? One, two, three, vive, Algeria? Hmm. I don't know what this one is. Um, exhale those hips through. Exhale those hips through. Okay. 
All right, I'm talking way too damn much. We're gonna get things rolling. Again, start with four double cleans or four swings. Four cleans, four rack squats. Every minute on the minute, baby. All right, here we go. We're gonna go in three, two, one. Let's go. Good tilt. Swing it on out. Four cleans. Four rack squats. Good, you're gonna have right around like 30 seconds to get a little break in. Deep inhales, deep exhales. Beauty, all right. I guess the one plus about working out with no music is you can just focus on your breathing, right? 15 seconds, here we go. Control that exhale. You can add a little breath attention at the top. Get things rolling. Eight gorilla rows, so four and four on each side. Three, two, one, here we go. Beauty, pop those feet back. Eight push-ups. Beauty. Shaking it on out. Nice. Good. Open up those shoulders. Nice and loose. Man. It's November 5th. We're counting here in Jersey. It's, I think it's like 65 degrees out. Kind of insane. Just a little ocean dip this morning. I don't know if anybody has like nice little morning routines, but I try to mix in an ocean dip at least a couple times a week. All right, farmer deads or suitcase deads. Here we go. Set those lats. Standing tall. Hips get pulled back. Two. Good. Four and four. Farmer lunges. Make sure that knee is nice and locked out. The top. Nice and stable at the bottom. Beauty. Shake it out. One round down. You got four more to go. Control that exhale. 20 seconds. Kind of like keeping the comments on. Who else, who else we got coming in? Beauty. All right, here we go. 10 seconds. Double swings and double cleans. Four, four, four rack squats. Here we go. Three, two, here. Cleans. Rack squats. Always parking those bells with control. With those swings and cleans too, if you feel comfortable and you want to create more space, you can always go thumbs up. I just generally like thumbs in because it helps with the rotation of the bell. All right, let's go, baby. 10 seconds. Gorilla rows. Make sure you push down with one as you pull up with the other. Here we go. Let's go. Good, keep that back. Nice little stretch with the shoulders. Nice. Rest in that remainder of the minute. And things rolling. Here we go. 30 seconds. Always important to focus up on that breathing. 
Really emphasize that exhale. One little visual that I like to think about is think about like you're fogging up a window, but with your mouth closed. Okay, I know it sounds nuts, but that will help to lower the heart rate. Okay, here we go. Armor dance. Now our stance. Eight spot. Let's go. Step in her back. Nice stable knee. Forward, four. Beauty. I think it's about time for me to fly out. Here we go. Two rounds down, three to go. You just pop it on, AJ from Docs. Grab your bells. It's all right. You got three more rounds. If I can get this damn sleeve off. All right, here we go. Start back at the top. Four swings, four cleans, four squats. Let's go. Nice. Beauty. What do we got? It is toasty in November. All right, we got 20 seconds. Yes. Justine uh, Luis on the YouTube. I too love the gorilla release. Mm -hmm. It's good too because when you start really think about your feet in the sand, digging those feet in and corkscrewing them out. It almost turns into a uh, full body. Here we go. That's it. Kick it back. Nice. Also, shout out to Alex from Kettlebell Gains Apparel. If you guys don't follow them, give them a follow. He does, a, he's got actually a, a double kettlebell complex called Killer Complexes. I know I just got done a kettlebell complex challenge. It was only single kettlebell, but Alex puts out phenomenal content. Great workouts, I should say. And you should also look into them. Here we go. Armor deads. Great. Lunges. Here we go. Beauty. One little trick there too. If you feel the bell swinging, think about pressing your thumb down. Okay, that'll turn your bicep in on a little bit more. It'll help to keep the, the bells a little bit more stable. Here we go. Back to the top. Let's go. What round is that? Three? Almost there. Got two to go. Here we go. Three, two, one. Please. Hmm. Hey, what? Talking and working out. It's a nice little combo. <laughs> Said no one ever. Hmm. Here we go. What else we got? 
surgery on my right foot. It's a good place for real lunges. <coughs> so nice replacement for that. Justina Luis. Okay. She asked, what's a good replacement for the lunges? Um, you do marches. Okay. Go deads right into marches. Here we go. Real goes. Let's go, baby. Get it back. Let's go. Yeah, Justine Louise. Okay, so again, she asked about placement for the uh, lunges because she got foot surgery. After you're doing those deads, nice tall spine, shoulders back down, and just march it on out. Okay. Marches and carries, two of the most underrated kettlebell movements out there. If you agree, give me a thumbs up. If not, give me a thumbs down. <laughs> All right, here we go. Farmer dance or suitcase dance, whatever he's calling. Hips back, turn those lats on for eight. Exhale those hips forward. In depth with those lunges. Good. All right. We're at the pointy end of the spear. I first heard that phrase in Australia. Pointy end of the spear. I was like that. <laughs> Which means we're at the end. We got last round. Last set, best set. Absolutely, Justina. Beauty. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Let's go. Pick it up. Nice. 30 seconds. Control that exhale. Take your belly, ribs, chest. Slight breath over. Exhale all out. Key is to just do your best to control that heart rate. The higher the heart rate, more negative thoughts you get. Here we go. Gorilla rows. Make sure you have a good angle. Knees under hips, hips under shoulders. Push and pull. Let's go. Nice. Here we go. Pretty. Last minute, coming on up. Push and pull, get things rolling. What's everybody doing today? Maybe we're gonna drop what their plans on the Saturday. You can toss them in the comments. 10 seconds, finish strong here. Here we go. Three, two, Good, exhale those hips forward. Good, step her back. Beauty. Nice. 
Benito. Yeah, <laughs> that one kind of took off a little bit, huh? Oh, that was great. That was good. Clean heart. Good job. I, yeah, I guess good job, right? Anybody do this? Anybody even do it? <laughs> hey, make sure uh, virtual client later. That's a good start. Nice. I like it, Cam. Miracle. Hey, tell us in the comments anything you're feeling. What are you guys doing uh, today? What's everybody's plan? Anybody got plans today? Nothing. We got the Phil's game tonight. Again, who's winning tonight? Who's winning the series? I know the Astros are up, uh, what is it, three to one or three to two? So, nobody, only you. Blah, blah, blah. We got Jamaica coming in. Hey. All right, giving yourself a minute, two minutes, three minutes. Focus up on a little bit of a cool down, okay? Big thing is, too, is like, all right, anybody can come in, work out for 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 minutes, and your heart rate spiked, but it's always important to give yourself at least five minutes, just cool down, focus on your breath. Hello from London, okay? Um, and when I think about breathing, okay, you can incorporate breathing and movement, okay? Breathing and movement when it comes to bells, but just as important, breathing and movement within your stretching practice, okay? So just a little bit of a crash course with the breathing and what I like to focus on is belly, ribs, chest, you have three chambers, right? Your torso. You want to think of your lungs as balloon. Lungs are a balloon, okay? So when you breathe in, okay, if you blow into a balloon, it expands. It's the same idea with our lungs, okay? We start from the belly, up to the rib cage, up to the top of the lungs, up to our chest, okay? So a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll just breathe top part of the diaphragm. And that causes short, short, shortness of breath, okay? Especially when you're heart rate spiked on up. So you want to maximize as much space of your lungs as possible. And what you can do here, and we can just sit and breathe. I mean, I don't know who's actually going to be staying on for this one, but everybody loves the kettlebells, but you got to, got to work with the breathing a little bit as well. So what you can do is you can right hand belly, left hand heart. And even honestly, if just one person is doing this, that's all it counts, honestly, because the breathing is such an essential part of our lives. It's like everybody breathes. Why don't we focus more on breathing? You know, we focus on fitness. We focus on diet. We focus on what we put in our body. But the one common thread <laughs> is that we all need to breathe. Okay, so why not learn and why not focus on our breathing a little bit more, especially in times of discomfort? Okay, because the more you focus on um, focusing on your breath during those uncomfortable times, okay, that's when you're you're essentially able to create comfort within that discomfort, okay? And the, it's the power of breath. I mean, that sound crazy, but it really is. So, so real quick, just spend a minute or so, right hand belly, left hand heart. Think about starting with your belly, expanding your belly. Feel that air go up from the belly to the ribs all the way up to the top of the chest, and then exhale out the exact opposite way. Feel those shoulders relax. Feel a picture like an egg that's cracked over your head on that exhale, and you just feel the egg kind of rolling over your shoulders. So just a couple more breaths right here. Right hand, belly, left hand, heart. And you can do this while you're laying on the ground, too. Go one more round. nice because again the key is essentially to try to keep a heart rate nice and calm while you're working out and one way you could do that is through nasal breathing it's an absolute game changer it's like the cheat code to life okay um if you're interested in learning more about the breathing learning more about kettlebells and all that so forth so forth you can message me on docs fitness or shoot a message over to kettlebell kinks Okay, I'm starting to really like, I know I haven't been doing the live workouts from here for a minute, but uh, I'm a big fan of them, you know? All right, um, any more questions? Anybody questions? What do we got, 27 people? Who else? Come on, let's get some questions out there. Any questions? 
questions about kettlebells, questions about fitness, questions about breathing, questions about the boathouse, questions about um, what my favorite food is or what your favorite food is. I don't know. Good, good. I'll give it another 30 seconds. If not, um, all good. It's Saturday. It's beautiful out. Hopefully everybody gets out there, um, incorporates a little bit of movement, whether you did this workout or not, no big deal, but grab a kettlebell, start swinging, learning the basics, obviously always and always. All right. <coughs> See what else we got. Um, but yeah, so again, I appreciate you guys. Appreciate Kettlebell Kings, best kettlebells in the game for sure. So definitely look into their website as well. They got a lot of good programs, solid programs that you can just go onto their website and check on out. All right. So if anything, you know, you guys can hit me up on my Instagram. And uh, again, that's Docs Fitness. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the beautiful day. 15 minutes turned into 36 minutes real quick. All right. Hope you all have a beautiful day.